For this part of the video, what we're going to do is do more of a presentation trick for this, where we take a larger image and shrink it down and move it at the same time. So I'm going to show you this example, and then we'll do the last slide together so you can see how it's done. So now I'm going to give you a really, really good tip. So if you have a stationary background that you intend to use, like I did with the border, these little boxes and everything like that, what you want to do is lock that because you don't want when you go to move an element and shrink it or whatever, you grab in something and that whole area moves or stuff. If you've been on Canva a while, you know with layering anything, Sometimes you go to move one thing and something else moves and it's not fun. And then you know what I mean. So if you take it and and this is going to be your base picture for everything you want or whatever you design. If you lock that, it'll save you a bunch of grief. Because if you go to move one thing, something else will move if you don't lock it down. So with that tip being said, let's go and shrink this down and move it into its box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to our three buttons. We're gonna click it. We are going to duplicate our page. Once we duplicate our page, we're gonna take our image. We're gonna move our image over to the spot we wanna end it on. We're gonna shrink it down to the size that we want or need. And once we have it there, we're good to go. Here's the other part. Since this is already set up for match and move, I'm going to I'm going to take one out for you. We're going to go to transition and I'll put it into a swipe slide, excuse me. And so now I have one that's off put in here. So what I want to do, I go into my transitions. If you want to do your transitions at the end, Go into transitions, hit match and move, and then put apply between all pages. And then you don't have to worry about it. Each one has a match and move to it. Then what you want to do to make sure your transition, this is still in beta. So sometimes it doesn't work as smoothly as you want it to. So you need to maybe do it a couple times before it'll kind of catch where it needs to go. Hopefully that bug will be kind of out later on down the road. So with that, what we want to do now is play and make sure that it it did what we did. So if you see now that it did not, do like we wanted to. So my intention was to have it move diagonally across here where you saw the image go and shrink down. If you saw when I tested it out, it just looked like it went from here and appeared here. So that's happened to me before. So what I usually do is I delete the duplicate. Don't worry about my box. My box is for something I'm still playing with. Um, and I try it again. So we'll try again. So we'll put it, move it here, shrink it down into the box. And then we'll try our match and move again. We'll start by this frame right here and see what happens. And there it goes. So now it moves smoothly like I wanted it to. That fixed the problem. So here's where we have a little fun. So my first experiment with animation that wasn't stop motion and match and move were these balls. What I wanted to do was have them bounce around the screen and then I decided to try to break them apart at the end. Um, it was an experiment but I think it came out kind of cool and it's the beginning of testing out how to animate with Match and Move. So I'll take you through a little bit about it. I'm not going to recreate it or anything like that but 
you can play around with different things. I've used letters. I've used all kinds of different things. As you can see with the other video, I was playing around with taking a box and seeing if I could get it to smoothly roll across the bottom. That's something I'm still playing with. So I'll take you through what I did with these balls, these bouncy balls. So I just started off with two and then I did them where I moved them all the way down or all the way across, but it didn't look very smooth. So what I did in the second one, so make sure you're duplicating each time you go. That is the key to this. Don't add a new page and move the ball. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. It needs to be a duplicate to know where to go next. So every time duplicate your page. So I moved it down about halfway. And then I moved them to the edges where I added the splash mark. Then again, I moved them to the, more towards the center. And then again, close to the edge. One close to the edge. And I just kept moving them around. And then I got a little crazy. I had them collide. And then after that, I broke the pink one apart and had the, the pieces go out and disappear off the screen. So if we look at that as a whole, that's what it turns out looking. The only image problem that I've really found with that is it really goes fast and I haven't found a way on Canva to slow a video down afterwards. So it made smooth animation, but as you can see, when I play it this way, it is very fast. So I either going to have to go into another application to make it slow down so it's not so fast. So you can actually kind of see what's going on. Um, that's something that I'm still experimenting with. Um, if you have any comments or you know anything good, please put them in the comments for me so I can learn and we can all learn together. So. That would be like awesome sauce. Um, so as far as this video goes, I thank you for your time. I thank you for listening to me kind of stumbly because this is the first time I've ever made a video with voice. Um, if you look at the other stuff I have on YouTube, the only reason I started a YouTube page was because somebody asked me to do a tutorial on a piece of art I did in Canva that I call the eye and it was too long to put on Facebook. So I had to make a YouTube channel. So why not? Um, I'm getting practice on how to use Canva for editing and using video stuff. So I'm very new to that too. So any help could be greatly appreciated. I'm not the greatest. I don't know if I'll ever be the greatest. I don't know, plan to be the greatest. I'm just a regular Joe like everybody else, trying to help somebody else out, make something cool. So I thank you. If you liked my stuff, you can like, you can subscribe. We just appreciate you taking the time and looking at my video. Thank you.